Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. This week we're going to be starting off a new series. We're going to be doing uh, videos on OBS. So stay tuned. Hey, hello everyone. I'm going to be uh, showing you um, how to uh, install OBS and also how to uh, do a screen recording with OBS. Now, uh, let's start off by saying what is OBS? OBS is an encoder that lets you uh, stream content to uh, streaming websites like uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Twitch. So um, it's quite a popular software, uh, a lot of people are using it, uh, especially gamers, they use it to uh, stream their games online. Uh, not only it allows you to uh, stream content, uh, it also record content. So I've been using OBS for the last uh, few months and I found it to be an amazing piece of software. and. Um, and what's also amazing about it is it's also free, which means you don't have to pay anything to uh, to get it or install it. And you could really uh, up your uh, your streaming uh, content uh, on YouTube or uh, Twitch or you know, Facebook. So um, yeah, let's start off by showing you uh, where to uh, get the software and how to install it. So. First, we will go to a website called um, Open Broadcast Software or OBSproject.com. Here is where you could get the, the installation package. Uh, they have it available for Windows, uh, Mac OS, and Linux. So, if you don't have a Windows machine and you have a Mac, you can install it. Uh, if you don't have a Mac or a Windows machine or just a Linux machine, you can install it. So you can install this on pretty much any uh, desktop or laptop that you have. So let's uh, download it for Windows. Now the thing is, is that I'm using OBS to record, so I'm installing OBS on uh, another computer to show you how uh, the process is done. So um, after I done the installation of OBS uh, on this uh, computer, I would switch back to my original computer and then give you a demonstration on how to uh, do a screen capture or a uh, screen record. So uh, let's um, open up the package. Give it access to your hard drive. Probably is a little bit slow. I'm doing it on another computer. Now you're gonna need to install uh, two runtime components before you can install OBS. Uh, some uh, application may already have these components installed, so. Um, you may not have to see this window, but in any case, if you come to this window, just uh, click yes. And it will bring you to the website where you could uh, download these packages and install it. Now, you need both the 32-bit and the 64-bit to be installed, um, because sometimes you may want to run OBS natively, so. Just uh, let's start with the 32 bit first. Oh, I cook it twice, but no. You just need to install it once. Let's hit the uh, yes to uh, Microsoft uh, agreement and install. Give it access to the hard drive. Close. 
I'll run the 64-bit component. Set the Microsoft agreement, hit install, give it access to the hard drive. And you're done. Now you just gotta rerun the OBS uh, installer. So we downloaded it already, so just go to your download folder for your download OBS and just rerun the installer and give it access to the hard drive. Hit next. Uh, accept the license agreement. Install in the default location and just hit install. It's as simple as pie. Now, this could take anywhere from three to five minutes. Alright, let's uh, launch it. Just uh, hit OK for the open license agreement. Now when you first start OBS, uh, it would have an uh, automatic configuration wizard that pops up. You don't need to use it. Uh, it is a new uh, feature of OBS. Um, it's currently in the beta stage. So, but you could use it um, if you want, but uh, we could actually run it later on. So, you don't have to run it right now. So, just click no. Like I said, it, you could run it later on. And what it would do is it would optimize your OBS to be either used for streaming or you just want to use it just to record um, your content. So. That's what the configuration wizard would do. So just hit OK. Now, um, as you see here, this is uh, the interface. You got here uh, scene collections, profiles. Now, scene collections is a collection of scenes. And each scene contain, uh, could be a collection of sources. Um, you can have multiple scenes that you could prepare so you could stream you know to um, to a streaming site so let's just say you have a scene prepared uh, for when you about to start the stream and you want to wait people to come in to to the chats first so you would have like something like a standby screen or you may have um, a stream that kind of plays a commercial maybe you may have a commercial I mean, if your YouTube channel is that huge, you, you're able to, you know, offer commercials on your stream, then more power to <laughs> Or uh, you could actually play that scene first and then start the stream. So that's what the, it means by streams. And sources is any source of content. Either it could be your desktop, it could be, um, you know, your game, uh, it could be a video, uh, it could be a... Uh, a particular website or part of a website uh, images uh, cameras inputs uh, you you name it uh, OBS would uh, would be able to uh, use it so um, let me uh, get back to my machine and I show you how to uh, start a screen record okay um, let's start off with by going to settings Go to output. Now, when you first install OBS, uh, it would usually set to simple. You want to change it to advanced. Now, we're not going to be doing with streaming today. We're just going to be doing uh, a simple uh, screen record. So we just go ahead re the record tab. Now. This uh, record path is the most important part. You, this is where you uh, decide where you uh, where all your recordings go to. So I usually would uh, point this to a secondary hard drive um, to, uh, to keep all your recordings safe. Uh, if 
anything happens to your computer, uh, at least you know that all your recordings are safe on a secondary drive and not being uh, corrupted by uh, by your primary. So I would usually change it to a secondary drive, but in this case today I'm gonna just put it onto the desktop for demonstration purposes. Also, uh, the default uh, it starts with uh, we coin for it is uh, FLV. You want to change that to uh, MP4. That's the most popular uh, recording format. Now, for videos that are longer than 10-15 minutes, uh, I suggest you use uh, MKVs just for the fact that if um, anything happens while you are in the recording um, you could still recover a uh, part of um, you know the video with MKV uh, MP MP4 once uh, the file is corrupted you you can't record you recover any part of it so if you were doing a very long recording that would be um, that would be quite painful actually so um, for longer recordings do MKVs for short recordings MP4 is fine I mean, I, I, I'm not going to cry about it if it's like five minutes recording, but sometimes, well, maybe if it's something very important, then yeah, I, I would suggest the majority of you use the MKV, but I, I'm going to just stick with MP4 just for the fact that it's, it's uh, quite popular and easier to, um, to use. Um, also, uh, the bitrate, um, as default is only going to be uh, 2000. I set it up to a little higher just for better quality. Um, so, depending on, on how your computer is, if your computer is high end or low end, um, if you could, um, if you know, if processing is not an issue for you, you could set it as high as you want. But if your computer is a lower end computer, you know, it, it may have some hard time trying to process a, a higher bit rate. So I, I just keep it at 5,000. Uh, it's kind of good balance for me. Uh, the encoder. Now some of you may not have um, a high-end graphics card. Uh, this is uh, set for uh, if you have an NVIDIA card. Uh, but if you don't have an NVIDIA card, of course it would default to X264. Uh, so. But since I have a graphics card, I gotta use the graphics card as an encoder. Alright, let's uh, start the recording. First, we're gonna add the capture. Now, like I said, there was multiple inputs that you could put into OBS. So, in this case, we're just gonna do a simple uh, display capture. Hit OK. And here's the desktop. Just hit OK. So, start recording minimize it now you could you know do whatever you need to do on here you know uh, maybe empty out your recycle bin or something <laughs> all right so uh, once you've done the recording just go in back into OBS stop the recording and uh, you could go and check your recording out like I said, I put it in the desktop, so when you go file and show recording, it would bring you to the desktop. So, see, that's uh, you see here, it recorded, you know, perfectly the quality and everything. Satisfactory to me. And that's it. That's how you uh, do a screen record. If uh, you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment below. Um, anything you want to learn about OBS and uh, you want me to show you in the next uh, tutorial, uh, leave a comment on what uh, aspect you want to learn. Uh, as always, everybody, uh, hit the subscribe button. To get a uh, notification of um, upcoming videos uh, hit the bell button to get notified of uh, upcoming videos 
Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this video. So, I think I cover all bases with that. So, as always, have a nice day. And I see you on the next tutorial. Take care.